Isaiah chapter number 53 Isaiah chapter 53 Verse number 3 to 5 Today I'm going to read only in English For us to spare time And uh, Mrs. Kanjimi will be able to translate As we go into the word of the living God Isaiah chapter number 53 Verses number 3 to 5 Praise the name of Jesus Christ Are you there? Okay, just give me a moment In some few seconds I will be there Isaiah 53 Verse 3 to 5 And it reads as follows He is despised and rejected by men a man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. And we hide as if it were our faces from him. He was despised and we did not esteem him. Surely he was born our griefs and carry our sorrows. Yet we esteem him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. Hallelujah. Amen. The suffering of our Savior Jesus Christ was made possible that he may suffer so that you cannot suffer anymore. He went through pain that the pain that he went through you may not go through it again. When he died on the cross he suffered. Many people will not associate with him when they arrested him, when they were mistreating him. He was dehumanized. He was beaten. Brutally, he was beaten. Many people started to withdraw from him. And that suffering was made possible that you may not see that suffering suffering in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Many people accused him. If he believed in God, the God whom he was able to help many people, why can't his God come and rescue him? Why cannot God come and help him? Why cannot God send the angel to fight for him if he is a son of God? But God have intended this from the beginning of the foundation of the universe that Jesus must suffer that he must suffer in the human eyes that he must be brutalized that you and me might be saved in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. It was not that he committed a sin. No. He was a man of righteousness. He was a man of truth. Himself is truth. Hallelujah. Amen. And he defended the truth and he died for the truth. The leader of that time, they could not withstand the truth that was coming out of his mouth. A man who spoke with authority. A man who speak with power, a man who could speak to sickness, a man who could speak to sin, and nothing would be able to stand his way, and he's here tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. We are celebrating the heroic work of Jesus Christ, and he is alive, he's not dead today. Hallelujah. Amen. He is alive. He is not dead. Jesus is alive. He is with us here. He is with you there. He is with you where you are seated. Hallelujah. Say, 
I will not leave you like often. A little while a longer I will come. That I may be with you until to the end of the world. He is not dead. Tonight is alive. He is with you. He is looking in your heart. In the name of Jesus Christ. He came to suffer. By going to the cross. To pay the price of your sin and my sin that you may not die for sin anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. Clap your hand and give him a clap offering in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! He suffered because of our sin. Many people rejected him. He suffered because of our sicknesses. He suffered because of our diseases. But the Bible say in verse number 5, as they were beating him, as they were indeed uh, slapping, whipping him, every whip represented sickness that they put in his place. He took your sick, sickness. He took your disease. You took your infirmity. He placed it in your in his body. And I can say without any fear of any doubt that you are no longer having sickness unless you allow it in your body in the name of Jesus Christ. He has taken it upon himself that he may take it back to the devil in the hell in the name of Jesus Christ. He took sickness. He took disease. He took infirmity and he placed in his body. He released that place, that body, every sin, every sickness, every disease when he rose from the dead he left it upon the devil in the name of Jesus Christ may every sickness every disease that is in your body in your blood in your blood in your blood in your, blood, in your vein go now in the name of Jesus Christ be released from sickness in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be seated, please. He took it away. That you and me may not suffer anymore. He suffered that we may not suffer anymore. Hallelujah. Amen. Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8. Verse number 16 and 17. We need to be a little bit faster. Verse number 16 and 17. And when the evening have come, they brought to him men who were demon possessed. And he cast out the spirit with a word and healed all who were sick that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying he himself took our infirmity and bore our sicknesses hallelujah amen here we can see the people have heard about the healing power of Jesus Christ. They've heard about the power in Christ Jesus. The anointing of healing. The Bible said when evening have come those who believe that Jesus is the healer those who believe that Jesus is the son of God those who believe that the Messiah is among them they they brought the people that were sick. They brought the people that were demon possessed. They brought them unto Jesus. They believe first of all that Jesus is the healer. They believe first of all that Jesus is the Messiah. They believed in the first place that with Jesus everything is possible. They did not only believe. They act 
get what they believe by bringing the sick people, by bringing the demon possessed people unto Jesus. They are bringing of the people to Jesus is faith in action. They were acting on what they believe. Hallelujah. And because they believe, because they acted on what they believe, the Bible says Jesus healed the sick people by his word. May he heal you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. As you put your trust in him tonight, as you believe tonight that with Jesus Christ nothing is impossible. May he touch your case. May he touch your body. May he touch your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! It is the believing of the people that made Jesus to heal all of them that came. He can heal as he did when he was on earthly ministry. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. If you can only believe tonight, if you can only trust him tonight, your case is not about the power, the anointing of the living God. You need to believe and you need to act on what you believe and that is faith in action faith is acting on what you believe in the name of Jesus Christ it is also the same also in healing it is your faith unto Jesus it is your faith in Jesus it is your belief in the son of God that he is your healer and he will touch your body in the name of Jesus Christ Psalm 103. Psalms 103. We want to look at verse number 1 to 3. 103. The Psalms of David. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities and who heals all your diseases. Hallelujah. Amen. We are reminded here that Jesus Christ, he forgives our iniquities. That is what we have done on the day when he was crucified. As we are indeed today commemorating the Good Friday, he did not look on the mistake that we have done. He did not look on the sin that you have committed. He loved you despite the sin that was in front of you in the name of Jesus Christ. And he said, I'm going to die for that worst sinner. I'm going to die for that bad sinner. He came and he died. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to praise him. We need to thank him. Despite our sin, he did not shine away from our sin. He did not say, I cannot associate with them. He decided to associate with us today. Just come unto him just as you are. And he will receive you. He will cleanse you. He will forgive your sin in the name of Jesus Christ. That is a point of salvation. And salvation comes with double blessing. He forgives our sins. Number two, he heals us from every disease. That is what Psalm 103 says. He who forgives all our iniquities, he who heals all our diseases, he forgives us from our iniquities, and at the same time, if there is any pain, if there is any sickness, he will remove the sickness from your body in the name 
of Jesus Christ. But you need to remember that you need to trust Him. You need to believe in Him. And you need to act on what you believe in the name of Jesus Christ. The acting on what you believe is what brings the result. The people in the time of Jesus, they have heard about the power of the healing of Jesus Christ. They have heard the people that they have healed probably. And this time around, when he came in the house of Peter, and he found the mother-in-law was sick, Jesus healed her by touching her. And the mother-in-law of Peter stood up and started to prepare for the meal. And the people heard about him, that he was in that vicinity. They heard about him, that he's in their location, that he's in their locality. They decided to bring in the evening those that were sick, those that were possessed by the devil, that he may be able to heal them. They believed in Jesus. They believed in the power of the anointing of healing. They believed that he can heal. And they acted on what they believed by bringing their sick people unto Jesus tonight. If you can only believe that Jesus Christ is the healer. He is the healer. He will touch you. He will heal you in the name of Jesus Christ. I do not care what the name of sickness in your body. There is no name above the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible said he was given the name that on the name of Jesus Christ every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Tonight, that sickness in your body, in your home, in your life, in your blood, in your joints, in your system, will bow, will bow, will bow, will bow, will bow in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! There is power in the name of Jesus. When you mention that name, so, demon trembles. No, we may be seated, please, for a while. Demon trembles. Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4, verse number 20 to 22. For those that are writing, please. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20 to 22. My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. Hallelujah. Amen. Here we are told in the book of Proverbs that the word of God bring healing and health in our body. Tonight, every wall of sickness in your body will crumble in the name of Jesus Christ. Will crumble in the name of Jesus Christ. Every wall of sickness in your body, every wall of sickness in your body, tonight it must crumble in the name of of Jesus Christ. For it is written, by the stripe of Jesus Christ, you were healed. You were healed. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. I sense the anointing. Some of you, you are having your loved one that are sick in the hospital. As you are seated here and you are listening to this word, they are getting healed in the hospital. They are getting healed in the hospital. They are getting healed in their sick bed in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Turn your ears unto my words. What is the word? By the stripe of Jesus Christ, he will heal. Hallelujah! Amen! 
The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 8 verse number 17 or 16 or 17 that it may be fulfilled which was spoken by prophet Isaiah that he took our infirmity and by his stripes he were healed tonight that stubborn spirit of sickness that demon of sickness not let you go in the name of Jesus Christ as Lazarus was let go by the spirit of death that spirit of sickness will let you go in the name of Jesus Christ it will let you go in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah healing is yours I say healing is yours it is your gospel right I say it is your gospel right healing is your gospel right healing is your privilege in Christ Jesus it is your covenant right in Christ Jesus receive your healing receive it receive it receive it Hallelujah! I want to repeat again. Healing is your gospel right. Healing it is your covenant right in our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus himself said, healing is for the bread, the bread of the children of God. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You need to know the devil is a liar. And tonight, we must put every lie of the devil on open space in the name of Jesus Christ. You need to have the word of God so that you can act on the word of God. Faith is acting on the word of the living God. Hallelujah! Yes, we are dealing with healing anointing here. We are dealing with the faith of healing. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16. We want to look at verse number 17 to 19. Are you there? Mark chapter number 11. Verse 17. What did I say? Chapter what? Chapter 16, yes. Mark chapter 16. We want to look at verse number 17 to 19. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. And this sign shall follow those who believe. In my name they, cast, they, they will cast the demons. They will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpent. And if they drink any deadly, it will not. It will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick. And they will recover. So then after the Lord has spoken to them. He was received up into heaven and sat at the right hand, hand of God. And they went out and preaching everywhere. And the Lord working with them, confirming the word through the accompanying signs. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible is saying, Jesus came to his disciples and he told them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. Therefore, I sent you into the world to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. He who believes is saved. Tonight, if you can believe that Jesus Christ can heal you, no matter what your situation may be, once you believe, only if you can believe, you will see the salvation of the living God. You will see the deliverance of the living God. Tonight, if you can only believe, 
you shall be saved you shall be delivered you shall be saved you shall be healed just only believe you will see the move of the living God in your life in your healing in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah then Jesus said, those who believe, they will lay hands on the sick. As they lay hands on the sick, the transmitting power of healing of the unseen Jesus Christ will touch the, uh, the sick people in the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight, the voice of the living God is speaking to you. The hand of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you. The unseen hand of Jesus Christ is with you you is upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is in this place. He is here. He is here in you, with you, upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. You are not alone. I say you are not alone. Every plan of the devil, every plan of the devil, it will not prevail over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I say you will not die before your time. You will not die before your time. Untimely death is not your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. If you believe it, shout hallelujah like a thunder. Hallelujah! The devil is a liar. He must take every sickness. As Jesus rose from the dead. Every sickness was given back unto the devil. All power and authority have been given to the believers so that you can live a healthy life. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. You need to live a healthy life in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who believe they have been given the power to cast out devils in the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight as you are going to pray, you are going to exercise your covenant authority to cast every demon of sickness in your life, in your life, the life of your loved ones in the name of Jesus Christ. You have that power. He have given it to us. The power and authority. Those who believe. Mark chapter 11. Verse 24. Mark chapter 11 verse 24. Therefore I said to you. Whatever things you ask when you pray. Believe that you received them. And you will have them. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to repeat again. This is Jesus saying, Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you received them, then you will have them. In other words, Jesus is saying, before we pray, we must believe. That which we believe, we need to pray for it. We believe before prayer. We don't believe after seeing the result. Faith is the evidence of things unseen. We believe that God cannot lie. That with God nothing is impossible. That is what we believe. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore when we come to God, we must believe that he is God, the healer, the redeemer, the savior, the Lord. He is our protector, our defender. When we believe like that, then we act what we believe. We will able to see the result that God has promised in the name of Jesus Christ. I say in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is very much important. Jesus said, Believe that you have received it. It's past tense. 
When you pray, you make up all your mind that with God, nothing is impossible. What he promised he will do. If you want to see God in your life, do what he requires us to do, first of all. Then God will do what he promised he will fulfill. Faith saying, before you open up your mouth to pray, you must believe in your heart that God is a God of his own words. In the book of Psalm, the Bible says, God have exalted his word above his own name. He's a God of integrity. He's a God of reputation. He cannot change his mind. Before you pray, you must believe that this thing is done as far as God is concerned. But then you still need to come to God and open up your mouth. Don't be like the people that are praying, Oh God, before we open up our mouth, you know everything. No, God is expecting you to say it. Hallelujah. Amen. There are times each and every one of us here that you feel when you are praying your prayer is touching the throne of heaven. You can know that. And there are times that you pray after you pray you also ask yourself I don't know whether God has heard me or not. But God is expecting us to believe before we begin to open our mouth and pray. And and our prayer become faith in action. Hallelujah! Amen. The healing anointing it is in this place. And after you have believed and you have prayed that you will receive it, you will receive it indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! First Peter chapter 2 verse 24. First Peter chapter 2 verses 24. And it read as follow. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness by whose stripes you were healed. Listen to me. In all the scripture of Mark chapter number 11 verse 24 and the first book of Peter chapter 2 verse 24 is talking about the past tense. When you hear about where is the past tense. Received you need to know it is past tense. When you hear was is past tense. When you hear when you, the, when you hear about head is past tense, it can be past particular or continuously, but it is in the past tense. It is telling us by the stripe of Jesus Christ, the pain that you are feeling, you can give it back unto Jesus. And Jesus has given it to the devil. It will not land on the body of Jesus anymore. Every time you tell the pain to leave, it will not go to Jesus. Neither it will not come back to you, but it will go to the devil himself in the name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, you are not going to be healed you are not going to be healed you are already healed if you are already healed then you are healed today you are healed now despite the pain despite the feeling that you are feeling the word of God said you are already healed you need to believe the word of God you need to confess the word of God you need to confess the word of God, word of God. Word of God. despite the feeling despite the feeling that you are feeling speak the word of God be in agreement with the word of God the word of God will never fail you in the name of Jesus Christ Clap your hand for Jesus Christ.
I say clap your hand for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. By his wounds you have been healed. Have been healed is past tense. It's not going to be. It's already done. Claim your healing. Claim your promises. Stand on your promises. Despite the pain that you are feeling, don't put your attention to the pain. Put your attention unto the word of God. Speak the word of God. Confess the word of God. Confess the word of God. The word of God. And the word of God will prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is what we need to do. And it's very much important. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to give you some incidences where the people came to Jesus and they have faith by coming to him. Tonight, I want to give you some of the scenarios from the biblical point of view to help you to build your faith. But it is the word of God that brings healing. It is Jesus who is the word of God. The Bible says in the beginning was the word of God. In the beginning is what? The word. The word was with God. And the word was God. And this is Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Tonight, if you stand on the word of God, you will see the hand of the living God in your life, in your body, in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says he cast out demons and healed them by his word. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight you can believe the word of God. It is the word of God that can make you to prevail. It is the word of God that can make you to be a victorious person. Luke chapter number 4. Let's just go and read some uh, stories that can able to build our faith tonight. Verse 31 to 37. Jesus casting out demons here. We are going to see how he did it. There are times that Jesus will be compassionate unto the person who does not believe. And he will touch that person by healing the person. But there are times that God is expecting us to stretch our hand in him. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 31, verse 31, read as follow. Then he went down to Capernaum, a city of Galilee, and was teaching them on the Sabbath. And, when, and they were astonished at his teaching, for his word was with authority. Now in the synagogue there was a man who had a spirit of unclean demon. Is there any clean demon? All demons, they are unclean. Hallelujah. All the demons, they are unclean spirit. And he cried out with a loud voice, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with you, Jesus of Nazareth? Do you, do you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, be quiet, come out of him. And when the demon had thrown him into their midst, it came out of him and did not hurt him. Then they, then they were all amazed and spoke among themselves saying, What a word this is, for with authority and power he commands the unclean spirit. And they came out. And this report about him went out into every place in the surrounding region. Hallelujah. Amen. This man, Ogumgara, he was a house of the demons. Demon lived in this man. This man did not come to Jesus. But Jesus have mercy. Jesus have compassion unto this man. That this body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Demon cannot live here while I'm here. Jesus have mercy and compassion unto this man. And he cast out the demon out of that person. The same Jesus is here to 
tonight and he knows you by your name and he's able to reach unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. Just believe in him. Luke chapter 4 verse 38 to 39. 38, 39. Now he rose from the synagogue and entered Simon's house. But Simon's mother's wife, Simon's wife's mother was sick with a higher fever. And they made a request of him concerning her. They asked Jesus, this woman is sick. Can you pray for her? Like sometimes you normally bring your sick people and say, Pastor, can you pray for my brother? Can you pray for my neighbor? They made a request for Jesus to pray for the mother-in-law of Peter. And verse number 39, so he, he stood over her and rebuked the fever and it left her. And immediately she rose and said to them, Hallelujah. Amen. People were in the house, they believed that Jesus the healer is in the house. And there was a person who was sick. They requested Jesus, don't allow this anointing to pass by. We want you, Jesus, with your healing anointing to touch the sick person with the mother-in-law of Peter who is in the house. They made their request unto Jesus to pray for the sick person. They believe that Jesus is the healer. They did not believe and leave it in their heart. They spoke what they believe by asking Jesus to extend his healing power, his healing anointing, his healing words upon the mother-in-law of Peter. Shall you clap your hand for Jesus Christ? Those are revelations that you are getting here tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot only believe and say, I believe I have faith without action. Your action can be in the word by praying or by speaking. Or it can be an action that you are doing. That is called faith, a living faith. That is an action. Luke chapter 4, verse 40 to 41. When the sun was setting, all those who had any that were sick with various diseases brought them to him. And he laid his hand on every one of them and healed them. Hallelujah. Amen. In the evening, Kongurowa, after he healed the mother-in-law of Peter, the feminist of Jesus Christ spread all over and they knew that the healing Jesus is in that place. They brought their sick people. The people in that village, the people in that city, the people in that vicinity, in that area, they brought their sick people to Jesus. They have had and what they have had they were convinced and they believed that Jesus can heal what they believed they put it to practice by bringing the sick people unto Jesus and the Bible says and he laid his hand upon them and he healed them may he heal you tonight may he heal you tonight may the unseen hand of Jesus Christ touch you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 41. And the demons also came out of many, crying out, saying, You are the Christ, the Son of God. And he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak, for they knew that he was the Christ. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We have in, in dealing with the demon, we have the power to ask them to speak. Or we ask the demon, don't come, don't speak, just come out. Are you with me? In dealing of deliverance, we have the power to command the demons to go out of a person, a person whom they are delivering without allowing the demon to speak. We have that authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Or we have the power also to interrogate the demons 
speak. Sometimes they can speak the truth, sometimes they can uh, lie in the midst of your deliverance. Lie so that you can go with the lie if you are not careful. Hallelujah. We are told here in verse 42 41. Jesus was dealing with the healing and deliverance at the same time. And tonight, he will heal you and deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. I say he will heal you and deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Some of you check your ear, your right ear, you can't hear properly. But the Lord have healed you now in the name of Jesus Christ. I said the Lord have healed you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Just believe. Luke chapter 5. Verse 12 to 14. Luke chapter 5. Verse 12 to 14. And it happened when he was in the certain city that behold a man who was full of leprosy saw Jesus. And he fell on his face and implored him and saying, Lord, if you are willing, you make me clean. Then he put out his hand and touched him. What did he do? He touched. Another place we had, he did what? He laid hands on the people and they were healed. Here, he said, I'm with leprosy. I want you to heal me. If you are willing. Jesus willingly stretch out his hand and touch that person. The person believed in Jesus that Jesus can cleanse him. And he did not only believe and he put it in the heart but he spoke what he believed by coming to Jesus. And say, Lord Jesus I'm having leprosy. I can't heal myself. We have tried everything that we know. We have failed. Son of David, if you are willing, make me clean. And the Bible said that is the faith that men brought unto Jesus. It is faith that pleases God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Here we are told Jesus cleansed a man with leprosy. A man requested Jesus. He implored Jesus. Implored. Oh, yeah. He requested him. And Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him. And immediately that man was clean. Hallelujah. Amen. Luke chapter 6, verse 6 to 10. Now it happened on another Sabbath also that he entered the synagogue and taught. And a man who was there, who was right hand, was worth it. So the scribe and the Pharisee watched him closely whether he would heal on the Sabbath that they might find accusation against him. But he knew their thoughts and said to the man who had a weathered hand, Arise and stand here. And he arose and stood. Then Jesus said to him, I will ask you one thing. Is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil? To save life or to destroy? And when he had looked around at them all, he said to the men, Stretch out your hand. And he did so. And his hand was restored as well as the other. Hallelujah. Amen. Here we see. This man did not exercise any faith of coming to Jesus. But he used his faith. Later when Jesus asked him to stretch out his hand. His hand was a lame hand. It was crippled. It was a dead hand. And it was just like this. The right hand, it could not move. It was just like that. It can't be stretched out. It was just on his body. And Jesus said. Jesus spoke the word. 
Jesus is God. Jesus is the healer. He spoke the word. And the men acted on the word that Jesus spoke. Faith is acting on the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And that man who was saving a withered hand, a hand that is dead, Jesus said, stretch out your hand. The Bible says, stretch out his hand. And it became war. May the Lord touch you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. May he touch you to the point of your problem in the name of Jesus Christ. May he heal you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Luke chapter 8. I want to read from verse number 42b up to 48. We are closer to the end of the message of tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Luke chapter number 8 verse 42b up to 48. And read as follows. But as he went, the multitude thronged him. Now a woman having a flow of the blood over 12 years, who had spent all her livelihood on physicians, could not be healed by any, came from behind and touched the border of his garment. And immediately her flow of blood stopped. And Jesus said, who touched me? When all denied it, Peter, and those with him say, Master, the multitude throng and press you. And you said, who touched me? But Jesus said, somebody touched me. For I perceive power going out from me. Now when the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling, falling down before him. She declared to him in the presence of all the people, the reason she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. Then, and he said unto her, Daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith had made you well. Go in peace. This woman, she have heard about Jesus' healing anointing. She have heard about the power of healing in Jesus Christ. She decided when she saw the crowd is going in one direction, that she cannot come in front of Jesus. She pressed in the crowd. She believed if I may touch his garment, even the end of his garment, if I can touch to his body, uh, his garment, I will be healed. There is power in Jesus. Not only in Jesus, even everything that is next to Jesus, there is power. If I may touch his garment, I will be healed. She believed that. She did not leave it in the heart. She went to exercise. She pressed herself in the crowd. Women who were at that problem with that problem in their time were not allowed to come in the crowd. But she pressed herself to go there. She was so tired going anywhere, no help. And she heard about Jesus passing by. And she said, today is my day. If I will not touch him, at least I can touch the garment of his clothes. I will be healed. Tonight, if you can only believe the word of Jesus Christ, it is enough for your healing. It is enough for your deliverance. It is enough for your salvation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Clap your hand for Jesus Christ. I say clap your hand for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes. John chapter 5, second last scripture. Chapter 5, verse 1 to 9. John chapter 5, verse number 1 to 9. After this, there was a feast of Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool, which is called in Hebrew Bethsaida, having five ponches or porches. In this 
lay the great multitude of sick people blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the move of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. Then whoever stepped into the first, after the stirring of the water, he was made well for whatever disease he had. Now a certain man was there who had an infirmity 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already had been in that condition a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be made well? Some people can ask, Jesus was not right there. He knew the person was sick. Why should he ask him? This person has left his home to come and wait for the move of the water, steering of the water. Why should Jesus ask that person? Jesus wanted to activate the faith of this person. Hallelujah. Amen. This man had unbelief spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus knew Yes, this man was having unbelieving spirit because this man when Jesus asked him let us hear what he said in verse number 7 the sick man answered him say I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up but while I am coming another step down before me hallelujah Amen. he's complaining Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man who was made well took up his bed, walked. That is, the day was the Sabbath. And the Jews therefore said to him, Who was cured? It is Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your bed. The intimidation came. I Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Even today, when you get healed into spiritual healing, this spirituality that we are talking about, people will tell you you are not completely healed. They are just lying at you. Hallelujah. Amen. People will always say like that. But there is healing anointing tonight. You are a candidate to be healed tonight. I say you are a candidate to be healed tonight. Hallelujah. Jesus healed this person. Yes, okay. but Jesus looked at the man that he had unbelief. Yes, okay. so, and Jesus opened the door by breaking the unbelief spirit. May the Lord break every unbelieving spirit in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. During this time when I was sick, this is a testimony that I want to share with you quickly. When I was sick with corona, I was drinking some of the medication. And I need to drink also ginger together with uh, lemon and uh, honey. And I took it for almost like three weeks to four weeks. In all the time that I went to the hospital, they were checking my blood. They were checking also my sugar. The blood was normal. My sugar for the first time it was normal. The second time it was normal. They took the blood and sent it to the laboratory. Two times it was normal. They take with that one that you are checking in the clinic, it was normal. They checked me for three times. The fourth time. I was recovering now from corona. My, my sugar went a little bit up. Because I've been drinking, as I told you, honey mixed together with ginger and uh, lemon together with uh, garlic just to boost some of my system, immune system. Are you with me? Amen. Now, when I went to for the blood check for the fourth time, my blood sugar, uh, the, my sugar was at 6,9. Uh, 6,5. 6,5. 
And the doctor said, We must put you on a treatment of sugar. He's a good doctor. He's a good doctor. He's also born again. I said to the doctor, I have been there for four times. My sugar has been normal. It's four, four, four comma something, four comma something, just like that. Then it went to five comma something. Now it's six comma five. Why do you want to put me on treatment? And he said, yes, please, we must put you on the treatment. I kept quiet. And my wife is so wise. She went to the pharmacy. Presented my result for taking the medication I have answered already the doctor I don't want the sugar things my wife asked the pharmacist and the pharmacist said what is the result of your husband uh, they say pasta pasta is the result they say a six comma something so no we have patients that are uh, we have people at seven comma something we don't put them on the treatment if you put your husband on the treatment today he will go in coma if you give your husband treatment of sugar today the whole sugar is going to drop and is going to go in coma my wife believed it. I have told the doctor, I don't want that. I don't believe that. Then uh, the pharmacist said, Pastor must come to be checked here. My wife met me at home and told me the report. She did not take the medication of sugar. Because I was sweating. When I sleep, I will sweat. When I sleep, I will sweat. So, the, after a week, I went to the pharmacy. My report is here in the cell phone. The first one, it was 5,9. Normal. After four days, I went back again. My result was 5,8. It is normal. The third day, I went again, the third time. My result was 5,8. Comma four. Clap your hand for Jesus Christ. I decided to go to the doctor's clinic. After four days, I went there. My result was four comma one. And I told the nurse, I have seen my grandmother and my grandfathers, both from my father and my mother. They died without sugar. I will not inherit that does not belong to me. Sugar is not my portion. My portion. I refuse it in the name of Jesus Christ. That was it. Tonight, the Lord may heal you from sugar. Diabetes in the name of Jesus Christ. That spirit, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke that spirit and I curse it to come out of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Be healed from sugar diabetes. Amen. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. There are some things that they can talk and then it can become to you. And when it becomes, it becomes chronical and you will remain until you die. During my period when I was sick, my blood was normal. Until today, my blood is normal. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The devil will try here to try here to kill us. But Jesus Christ has given us the answer. I said, Jesus Christ has given us the answer. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say, in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall you stand on your feet now? Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Do you believe that Jesus is the healer? Do you believe that? I can't hear your yes. 
Do you believe that Jesus is the healer? He's the healer of your life, of your body, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your right hand. I say, in the name of Jesus. I believe in my heart. Jesus Christ is my healer. I am healed from the crown of my head to the bottom of my foot soil. I believe Jesus Christ is my healer. Healing is my gospel right. Healing is my covenant right. Healing is my right in the new covenant in the new testament it is my new testament right i want you to begin to pray for your healing now clap your hand and begin to pray every sickness every disease i rebuke it to go to let you go in the name of jesus christ you sickness you disease, I rebuke you, I command you, come out, 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 pray now, pray, pray, clap your hands as you pray, pray for your healing. Pray for your healing. Pray for your healing. Pray for your healing in the name of Jesus. Healing is yours. Healing is yours. Healing is yours in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray, 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 pray. Pray for your healing. Pray for your health. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Confess this word after me. I believe in my heart. Jesus Christ was wounded by his wound I was healed I am healed in the name of Jesus Christ I believe in my heart healing is my testament my new testament right healing is my gospel right healing is my covenant right Open up your mouth and begin to pray now. Pray, pray, pray. Rebuke that sickness. Rebuke that sickness. Command that sickness to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Command that sickness to go. It must let you go. It must let you go. It must let you go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray, 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 pray. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible made it very clear that every Thing that have a name will bow unto Jesus Christ and confess that Jesus is the Lord. It will confess and believe and bow down unto Jesus. I want you to mention the pain that you are having in your body, the sickness that you are having in your body. Mention that sickness and say you are going to bow unto the name of Jesus Christ. Open up your mouth and begin to pray now. Tell that thing, tell that sickness, tell that sickness to bow unto the name of Jesus. Tell it to bow unto the name of Jesus Christ. That sickness must bow. That name of that sickness must bow unto the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. That sickness must go. That disease must go. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lift up your right hand and say, In the name of Jesus, I believe with all my being that I am healed. My blood my system my system my joints everything about me is in alignment with the word of God I believe I was healed by the stripe of Jesus Christ I am well I am sound it is well with me it is well with my body in Jesus mighty name Clap your hand for Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. Put your hand beautiful and give Jesus a clap offering tonight. I say give him a clap offering. Give him a clap offering. Hallelujah. Every night. This is what we are going to do. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We will do confession. 